Hi booktube, Lynette here and in today's video I am going to open the December Book Box Club box. Book Box Club is a young adult book subscription service. Every month they send out a box full of bookish goodies and including one book which all surround a theme. There is a cheaper option which is to just get the book uh, without the goodies if you prefer and they also do a bi-monthly service where they send out a book for the 9 to 14 year old age range which is called Tales by Mail. Uh, but I've got the full box, this is December's box and the theme for this month was Miracles at Midnight. As always the first thing out of the box is the spoiler card um, which obviously reminds you of the theme but on the back it has everything that's in the box. So I'm going to leave that face down so that I don't actually spoil myself what the book is because that is printed right at the very top. The next thing you get out is the invitation to the book club. I've never actually joined the book club. Um, you don't have to join it. Uh, I've never actually joined in with it, I should say. Uh, it happens once a month, they have a meeting. Usually the author is involved. And I think at the end of December, we'll be talking about the book that came out in October, I think. Um, I'm not sure. They, I think they're about a month behind um, to give you time to read the book from when you receive it, because these are usually sent out in the middle of the month. Um, so, yes, you need plenty of time to read it. So, again, don't open that one if you get it, because it will spoil the book for you as well. And then the next thing that comes out is the actual book itself. I'm going to leave that until last because I want to look at all the things that are in the box. This month it feels like uh, quite a reasonable chunky hardback book um, and hopefully that will be, I'm, I have no idea what it could be, haven't even tried to research it this month um, so I'm looking forward to finding out what it is. Um, so the next thing that's in the box is this card just recommending eight books for 2021 um, that the book box club team are recommending to you and if you read it on the back um, it gives you the opportunity to say whether you recommend it or not and it gives you the dates that they're all coming out um, so there's a couple on there that actually look quite intriguing to me just from the cover so I might have to look up some of those a bit later on this afternoon and in December we've actually been spoiled. We've actually got two books this month and the second book is An Uncorrected Proof. It's a book that's not due out until January 2021 and it is Here the Whole Time by Vitor Martins. Um, like I said this isn't the actual cover I don't think because this is um, An Uncorrected Proof. It's a queer love story um, which isn't my usual go-to but um, I will give it a go. Uh, like I say, it's due out in January. Um, so I will try and give this one a read as early as possible in 2021. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure what it's about. And the next thing out of the box is this rather gorgeous smelling bar of soap. Uh, it's um, charcoal tea tree ginger. Um, it's handmade and it's vegan and cruelty three. It smells absolutely gorgeous and it's actually making the whole box smell um so I'm thinking that that is definitely going to go in a drawer somewhere because to make all my clothes smell gorgeous I'm not normally one to use um handmade soaps like this um because I I don't tend to I use I use soap really just for washing my hands um I tend to use shower gels and that for actually washing in the shower and the bath um but yes that smells absolutely gorgeous so that's definitely going somewhere where it's going to make everything else smell very nice. And the next thing out of the box is this beautiful pin, uh, which I think is definitely, I don't normally put enamel pins on clothes. I've got a bag on top of the bookshelf behind me uh, with my little collection in, but I think that is definitely one that is going to go on my denim jacket because I love having pins on my jackets um so it's following the theme uh, miracles at midnight and i think this was designed exclusively by the book box club team and the next thing out of the box is what looks to be a christmas decoration um based around the actual theme of the month miracles at midnight and i'm thinking possibly that might be connected to the book in some way 
um so it's a wooden hanger um so i think it's not something you could put it on your tree at christmas tree as it's december if you wanted to um or you could just hang it from a door handle or from um the you know if you've got like i've got a, a bed post um hang it from a bed post uh stick it on a hook off your bookshelves um it's wooden so it's not going to fall and break um and i really really like that design it um it looks as though it's a circus theme um and maybe not even actually the sort of circus that you and i would think of but maybe something a bit darker than the usual circus that we would think about and the next thing out of the box is this rather lovely pair of socks um i love printed socks um i try not to show my feet too often because i love printed socks far too much um but these are brilliant it's all uh books and stars um and it says reading past my bedtime on the back of them so i'm going to look forward to taking those out and putting them on my feet when i get a bit chilly later on today and the last thing out of the box is the annual item that Book Box Club put in the December um, boxes, and that is their calendar. And this year it is absolutely, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this to you, gorgeous. Um, I absolutely love these designs. It's not going to be freestanding, unfortunately. Um, it's one that you can pin up on something. So I've got some pins. I might just pin it up on my bookshelf, on the side of my bookshelf. Um, but it has all these beautiful designs in it uh, so i'm looking forward to seeing who the actual author is of these designs um so yes so that's uh the um if i i don't know if i can there you go there's um if you can see on the camera there uh there are all the designs for the each month in the calendar mm. So that's all the items in the box. The last thing to do now is to open up the book. Like I say, I have no idea what the actual book is. All I know is it's hardback and that's just from feeling it through the wrapper. And I'm not being very good at opening it this month. I'm just tearing the paper. Um, and the book is Paris by Starlight by Robert Dinsdale. I have not heard of this book at all, which is um, absolutely the norm. Um, I love that Book Box Club picks books that no one else is doing. Um, they're not hyped, super hyped on BookTube. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I love this book subscription box so much. And I'm really intrigued. I love this cover. Uh, it's beautiful. So let's have a look and see what the back of the book says. Settle down, pull your covers tight, look to the window and out into the night. Darkness has fallen, the foul are abroad, but out there lies a world that will soon be restored. So let me tell you the tales of when we were born, between sunset and morning, between nightfall and dawn. Let me speak of the star that once shone in the sky, of the kingdoms of moonlight, the flowers by night. Let us travel together through time's lonely mist to that long ago age where enchantment exists. That sounds very intriguing. So, and on the inside flap, um, it says every city has its own magic. Every night on the long journey to Paris from their troubled homeland, Levin's grandmother has read to them from a very special book called The Nocturne. It is a book full of the stories and heroic adventures of their people who generations before chose to live by starlight. With every story that Levin's grandmother tells them in their new home, the desire to live as their ancestors did grows, and that is when the magic begins. But not everyone in Paris is won over by the spectacle of Paris by starlight. There are always those who fear the other, the unexplained, the strangers in their midst. How long can the magic of night rub up against the ordinariness of the day? How long can two worlds occupy the same streets and squares before there is an outright war? That sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, and it says on the front that um, it's been blurbed by Catherine Arden, who wrote um, the Winter Night trilogy, which is a trilogy that I started because Bookbox sent me the first and second books um, and haven't yet finished, but I need to get on with that. Um, and I'm really intrigued by this. So I'm 
probably going to add this again to my TBR very very soon um it sounds like one that I'm definitely going to be in the mood for um very very quickly so I'm just going to quickly whip back through all the items that came out and just tell you who they were designed by the first item is the calendar and it actually says on the front that all the illustrations are done by Katerina Book Designs. She does have an Etsy shop which I will link down below for you uh, so you can go and check out more of her work. The reading past my bedtime socks were actually designed by the Book Box Club team. Um, so they are going, I'm, like I said before, I'm very much looking forward to putting those on when my feet get cold later on in the day. The next item was the decoration tree, um, which you can use on your tree or anyway in your home. And this was by Ewart Designs. Again, they have um, a link that I can put down below for you that will take you to their Etsy shop. And I was right. This is about a circus, but not just any circus. This is based around The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, which is a book that I still haven't gotten to, but I hope to eventually. And then the first item that I pulled out was the bar of soap. And... I'm actually really frustrated with myself. Um, I don't know if you can read that. It says Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. I'm supposedly a Disney fan. That's from Cinderella and I didn't pick up on that. Uh, this is actually called Cinder's Soap and it's by Thistle Soapery. Um, like I say, smells absolutely divine. So I'm looking forward to leaving this out or putting it in a drawer or inside my wardrobe so that it makes all my clothes smell nice. Um, but again... Uh, I will put a link to their um, shop down below for you. All of the items this month look as though they've actually come from Etsy shops. And then the final item, other than the books, uh, was the enamel pin. And as I said, this was designed by the Book Box Club team um, and they had it made up especially for this box. So that was everything that came in the December's Miracles at Midnight box by Book Box Club. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing it all. Uh, like I say, I do recommend Book Box Club. The books are always unique. Um, I think there's only been once that I've had a book come out that has been hyped around BookTube, and that was a few years ago now. All the books seem to be pretty um, unique to BookTube, so they do introduce lots of new reads. It is aimed at young adults, so the 15 to uh, 20 year old age range. Um, I'm clearly not in that age range, but I still reading. I enjoy reading that um, age range of books, uh, which is why I get this book box. And it is unique. It's a UK based subscription box. So if you're in the UK, um, give them have a, a look uh, and see what you think. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you all again soon. Bye.